All right, this is a video about the Sonoff uh, wall plate, glass tempered something or other. Anyways, um, my kids were, not all of them are tall enough to reach the switch and it's difficult to do it, but they can all reach up and touch this, so I put this in my bathroom. So you just turn it, hit it, turns it on, it's Wi-Fi controlled. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about this is that it's uh, it's basically designed to all snap together. So I'm going to go ahead and push on this. There's these pieces that are supposed to clip in there, but I don't know, they're dependent upon your wall scenario. Essentially, these clips don't always hold. They're supposed to, you know, clip into these back parts. So that was kind of annoying me. So I figured out how to alter it so that it would work. Uh, from a wiring perspective, you essentially, you know, your light, your load goes in, uh, at load in, and then the switch, the light goes load out, and then uh, the ground is the one that's called NIN on here. I don't know. You can see it. Anyway, so. Ugh. So it's snapped in there. I need to figure this one out, but um, I'm going to show you what I did, which makes it more secure. So, all right, sorry, a moment. Walk out to my work area. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so most of your normal, uh, you know, lights are something where you have a rocker type switch, and these screws right here are uh, six by thirty-two. And you can basically, you need some slightly longer ones in order to reach it. But you get your switch, you connect it up, and you go to clip it in. And, you know, it won't, the, the piece, it's internally here. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. So what you do is you take your rocker plate off, you screw this in, like that. And then the clips on the top and bottom, uh, there's an orientation involved here. Uh, see that tab on the bottom lines up with the tab here. So you're going to push it in there, and it's going to, can't do it very well. All right, so you push down, and then it pops, and it's flush. So this should sit flush, snap into place. Um, what I noticed was is that, you know, sometimes if you over-tighten the top or the bottom one, when it's sitting there, you know, maybe it won't be completely flush, and then this, this snapping in thing doesn't happen very well at all. So what I did was... A uh, pretty simple little fix that I really don't know why they didn't do at the factory. Another thing is when you screw your your, uh, your wires in, you really need to screw them all the way because otherwise this piece, you know, it won't go to clear them. You can see there's not that much play there. You really need to have your wires uh, all the way uh, snapped in and then it's kind of bent sideways. Uh, so yeah, I put this in place, took a little drill, uh, you know, uh, drilled through both sides. And then uh, use this, um, I don't know, I forget what it's called, countersunk? Yeah, uh, countersunk bit, and I uh, just drilled it until a normal 6x32. This is not long enough, by the way. You need one about twice the length of this. It's going to sit in there, and it's going to be flush. But this allows you to basically uh, snap this entire assembly. So wire it up, put this entire assembly, you know, this piece, this screw here is going to fit into this portion or whatever it is on your wall thing and it's going to provide a good positive grab and then the, uh, the Sonoff uh, flat panel is essentially once again there's this tab on the top and this tab on the top lines up with the tab on the bottom and it'll sit there and it'll sit nice and flat and you have good positive retention where it's directly screwed into the existing um, you know box single whatever this box is called so that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a, it makes it work a lot better. I think the switch is six dollars, but it works really well. My kids love it. They can just kind of smack it, and uh, it works. That's about it.